Thank you, Jim. Again, welcome everyone. I think we have a really exciting event here today. We have a full house and also in addition to a great uh, list of uh, keynote speakers and panelists, we have a great audience. In fact, we have uh, about a mix of 50% ILP corporate members. These are global 1,000 corporations from uh, 36 companies from 10 countries. And uh, then we have about 40% representation from the MIT community in, in, uh, in the form of uh, staff, executive directors, uh, faculty, alums, and students. And then we also have about a 10% representation from uh, MIT startups. And you'll see, uh, you'll hear from seven of those on stage later on. Just, uh, just a quick uh, poll here. How many of you have been to a startup exchange event in this uh, room before? Okay, a few. All right, so we're hoping to give you lots of good reasons to come back. Um, and, and then I also want to set the sort of the stage before I go into my presentation, set the stage for the day. Um, we really try to make this um, uh, a lean forward event, not the event where you come, you passively sit back and you just absorb data. We want this to be an interactive event. So ask hard questions, reach out to the people around you, make connections, get business cards, because ultimately what we're focused on here is facilitating partnerships, right? And so this is the beginning of, uh, of, of that, right? Uh, so that, that's the challenge to you. Make something happen today. And uh, so with that, I'll, um, I'll go into a brief overview of the Startup Exchange and how you can engage in addition to just coming to one of these events. So we operate at scale, 250 ILP members, global 1,000 companies across all industries. We have 1,300 startups. We're adding 10 to 20 every month. And we do an enormous amount of introductions. These are highly vetted, high quality introductions between uh, key decision makers. And these, uh, these uh, keywords here represent that the trending technologies that we see. These are valuable technologies in, in any, any industry, regardless of what you do. Um, and just to give you some stats, when it comes to energy, we have over 100, 100 um, MIT startups working in the energy sector. And you know, it might be in batteries, it might be digital solutions. We have about 60 MIT startups working in AI machine learning. We have about 70 working in analytics and big data. So there's a lot of interesting, there's a little bit for everyone for sure. Um, and we ultimately care about success stories. We care about successful partnerships, Whitricity which makes um, a technology for wireless charging of electric vehicles, partnering with AIHI. Tulip, it's an advanced manufacturing IoT company, partnering with Merck. You'll hear from Whitricity later on today. Um, so the question is, how, how does corporations get involved? All right, so one thing is to come to these events. We, every year, we put hundreds of startups in front of thousands of attendees. And uh, here I'm listing a few of the events that we have upcoming. We'll be at GE Ventures in Silicon Valley in two weeks. Um, back on campus for the ICT conference, we'll have a startup exhibit there. Uh, Mid-April, our flagship event is uh, mid-May, uh, mid uh, the Startup Ecosystem Conference. We'll be back in this room for ag tech end of, uh, end of June. Uh, another way to engage is to post an opportunity. An opportunity is essentially a search for a partnership with startups, MIT startups, around a particularly defined use case or technology. You post it online for a period of, you know, let's say four weeks, you get a response from startups and you proceed from there. The hurdle to participate is here is higher. We expect you, uh, a pilot to come out of this. We expect you to have a process internally to handle the, the applications or the responses and to have the budget to do a pilot, have a team in place and a process. And then finally, we run an accelerator called Stex25, where we accept 25 of the most promising startups from across all of MIT for a 12-month period. There are a number of those companies here today. Uh, for these companies, we will do introductions to, uh, to ILP members. So if you see those coming in, make sure you read them and, and act on that, because they're really high quality. Um, and uh, we also have a number of VIP events here, a couple of startups. And you'll hear from Arundo today. It's a big data analytics company. Uh, we have companies in ag tech, food, 
um, emotional, what, what's called emotional intelligence, um, retail solutions, call center solutions, more 3D printing, uh, robotics for advanced manufacturing, digital health, Bitcoin, advanced materials for wind turbines, um, AI for drug discovery, et cetera, et cetera. And so if you're looking to figure out how to start, I think the starting point is talk to your program director from the ILP and, and figure out what the best way is for your company to engage. It might be to come to more events or it might be to post an opportunity. Right? And so with that, I'm hoping we can go to our first faculty speaker. Okay, so he's here. Uh, so that's uh, Kalyan Veramashanini. He's a principal research scientist at MIT LIDS. That's a lab for information decision systems, uh, formerly at CSAIL. He's uh, a little bit of an expert in AI has, and also an active entrepreneur. He has two active company, one Pattern X, which is, <laughs> is not here. Okay, so we're gonna go to startup presentations. I think so, yeah. So uh, first speaker is Alice, Alex Grusen. CEO of Whitricity. Um, so Whitricity <laughs> makes a wireless charging technology. And uh, are we ready for that? Oh, it's okay. He is here now. Okay, so <laughs> rewind. Uh, <laughs> so like I was telling you, so he actually has, you know, he's an he's a academic, but also a practitioner. So he has two startups, Pattern X, in uh, AI for, uh, for cybersecurity, um, online fraud, and then also Feature Labs, which is in data science automation. Very new, exciting company. He's uh, a frequent consultant to the energy sector and uh, also was named by Fast Company one of the most creative business people of 2017, um, which I think sounds really interesting. And he, today he's gonna tell us about AI killer apps for energy.